Spencer, what happened on just the last play and Anthony Simon's ability to get to the rim on that game-winning shot? Um, I mean, obviously they ran an action to free him up at the top of the key. And then um, I was late on the double team. And he uh, got down into the lane and hit a floater. When you look at just the overall fourth quarter, kind of what was the difference maker after you guys had such a – made a great difference in that third? Um, I mean, you know, teams make runs. They made a run, and then um, obviously they were able to get a couple offensive rebounds, things extend possessions. Uh, so we were able to get an initial good stop, but then not able to finish it. A loss is a loss, but Nick was saying that this one just stings more because it's getting scored by Portland. Just does this one feel a little bit more different, just given the accumulation of losses? Um, yeah, I mean, obviously they're uh, a team trying to figure it out. Um, at a little bit different stage than us. And so you don't want to uh, drop games that you feel you should win. For you in that second half, what did you read in the game where you were able to attack and get all your points in the third and fourth? Um, I mean, look, it, that, like I said earlier when we were talking, like some games you're going to hit shots, some games you're not. You know what I'm saying? When volume's low, like two made shots or whatever can be a big swing, you know, in, in how the game. Uh, reads or how it's played, right? Like, if I went three for nine today or something like that and missed a couple more threes, y'all would probably be saying I was I played bad. You feel me? In a similar type situation, and I still had you know whatever thirteen, six, seven, whatever. Like, shot not necessarily the greatest, but you hit two more. You had nineteen. Everybody's like, oh man, you played great. But like, at the end of the day is it's gonna be a different person every night with like our style and the way we go about things like that so it's to be expected you know what i'm saying like one night this guy's gonna have 20 and the next night that guy's gonna have 20 and down the line could be six different guys like any night and then you know sometimes you finish games sometimes you don't um it, it's I've, I've been in a situation before in terms of like dc is similar to that and so you know all, all you're hoping to do is, is string together some wins and 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 figure it out uh on the positive end Defensively, you seem like you guys have been figuring things out the last two games. This game kind of figured out in the third quarter, but just is it kind of frustrating where the defense is starting to maybe figure some things out, but it's not resulting in the wins? Of course. I mean, I think uh, in this game specifically, like I said, we couldn't uh, get get the kill, right? Like we couldn't uh, uh, finish the possession. There's a couple times we got a couple stops and just, just couldn't get the rebound. They made a couple extra hustle plays and, you know, got, got some extra second chance points like that and kept them in the game. We could have kind of made a little bit more separation. I think it's what's also the morale now. It's I think it's 14 losses in 17 games. Obviously, you don't want to let the losses linger, and obviously you guys want to keep pushing. But just over the past month, does it feel like it's a, a sinking feeling where these losses just are adding up a little bit too much, you feel like? Uh, we, we can't afford to do that. If we if we get caught up in, in sinking, then where, we, where else are we going to go, right? So uh, all we can do is try to execute the game plan, stay focused. Uh, pick up wins and, and get it get it back on track. Um, obviously, the league is uh, what have you done for me lately? Uh, last five games, uh, all that type of stuff is the way that everybody looks at this thing and 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 feels about it, right? Like everybody said, Utah was some ass, and then you know they went on a, what eleven to two win streak. If we went were to go five and zero, oh, we'd be the hottest team in the NBA. It's like you know a lot of times things are great in that snapshot or in that vacuum. Um, we're only what forty games in, so we have a whole other half of a season to play.